a warrior. Kyle's just been a warrior from day one. When you think of Kyle, you think about a competitor, you think about a warrior. It's a terrific effort by Singer. He's got a warrior's mentality. He's just an ultimate warrior. Puts his body on the line. That warrior tag I've received, I guess it just reflects my play, my, my basketball style. I like it. When I hear the word warrior, I always think about you know, tribal people, you know, fighting war. And they're, uh, you know, relentless, they're brave, uh, courageous, fearless. I think uh, that is a little bit of me, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a pretty cool thing. Duke had always been on his radar screen in terms of a school of interest. And I think really when he made his first trip out to his official visit, when it became very clear to him, was that uh, this was a place that he was uh, pretty excited about. I just imagined myself being here, and I just really thought that this would be a place where I could be successful. Well, I knew right away Kyle would be a, a special player. He not only had talent, but he had a spirit that's just uncommon. And when you get the two of together, uh, it's can't miss. I think Kyle, from the moment he was on campus, set the tone for us of the type of effort it takes to be a champion. He was a guy early in his career who showed flashes of being really good with his talent. But over these last two years, he's become a guy who's become an elite player and one of the, one of the best players in college basketball. And just to see him kind of open up a little bit. You know, he was a little, little quiet and reserved uh, early on in his career. But now, just to see him blossom into the type of guy where, you know, whether it be interviews, to see who he is now, and to see the man he's become, I'm just honored to, to have had the opportunity to, to get to know him and to coach him. The championship run my junior year, it really didn't hit me that we could be a team to win a national championship, probably. Not until we got to the final four. Just because you really don't know what can happen in March. During that last shot against Butler, it was one of those things where time almost stood still and actually was on the ground. So I had a different uh, viewpoint from it. But you know, when I saw the ball hit the backboard and bounce off the rim, it was shocking. But uh, I just had this, you know, a sense of relief. It didn't surprise me that Kyle wanted to come back for his senior year. I think he loves Duke. He loves the education, the life experience that you only get when you're in college. We had conversations at night together with Kyle, without Kyle. In the end, he just felt that he didn't want to miss his senior year. He didn't want to miss the leadership part, the senior night, the Cameron crazies. He wanted to get his degree. And he just thought, you know, the NBA can wait. I love Duke, and I felt if I would have left, uh, I would have missed out on my senior year and a lot of the things that I've done this year. And I haven't regretted it a bit. I've had a great year. Just experiencing it with this year's team has been, you know, such a joy for me. I think the people that follow the program and that cheer for Duke understand that he put every ounce of himself into being a Duke player, and I think he'll be forever respected for that. He sets a constant example for his teammates that he's willing to pay whatever price needs to be paid for us to be good. We would wish that every player who puts on a Duke uniform would play as hard as Kyle. The thing that I want people to remember me by, and I want my legacy to be known as that I was just a winner. In life in general, you just want to be a winner. and I've always uh, focused on that, being a person and a basketball player. So if people just can remember me as that, and as someone who always played hard and had fun while playing.